Jiu-Jitsu is very cool. Sometimes, sometimes you learn a bunch of stuff and it does not work at all. And then you learn something that's like the catalyst and kind of like <clears throat> makes everything work all of a sudden. And like I equated to, I equate a lot of stuff to computers. It's, it's almost like you downloaded a bunch of movie files or whatever files and they don't play because you don't have the right program or codex or whatever. And so you got all these files that are like worthless. And then you're like, oh, let me download like movie player. And then all of a sudden they all play, right? So I, I talk about that with, with two things. Number one with my omoplatas. Like I was, I was a three stripe blue belt, been training for years, like one, a million tournaments, one nationals, like one everything, could not do an omoplata to save my life. Did not know how to get out of an omoplata to save my life. Like I just had no understanding of them. Tried and tried and tried, didn't work. Conceptually, I could visualize all these different things off of them, but I couldn't do them. And actually I have a video of my old coach trying to show me this omoplata and he's recording it. And you can hear him behind the camera and he's like, he's like, no James, such and such. No, no, no. And he walks out and he goes, man, just try to do it like this. And he shows me this completely different setup that was just that much different than everything else I'd been trying to do that I couldn't figure out. And I was like, boom, oh. And then I did it again. And then it was like all of a sudden, because with that one single setup, I understood on Plata's and everything I'd ever done worked, right? Uh, my coyote guard, same thing. I probably had 30 moves from Coyote Guard. And I would have given up on it, except I had a bad knee. <laughs> so I couldn't, I couldn't play anything else really. Um, but I couldn't make it work. Like I kept trying and trying and trying and trying. And I just, I couldn't, I was like, man, everybody's passing my guard. As soon as I go here, they just pass my guard. And I was a black belt at this point. And I went down and I, I trained with my buddy who he was pretty good at Coyote Guard. And I was like, dude, this is what's happening. And he's like, oh, lock it up. And I locked it up and he's like, oh, he's got to push your hips in. And I was like, what? And he's like, he's like, yeah, you're, you're back here with your clamp. He's like, when you get your clamp, just drive your hips in. And I was like, no way. Came back and it worked flawlessly. And I could literally walk through the room and hit any move from Coyote Guard I wanted on any person I wanted to hit it on. It was like I just needed that one little thing that, like, that little that little movie player that made it all work, right? Um, so sometimes you'll, you'll have that. So like omoplatas, I always use omoplatas as the example because that was like one of my techniques I just couldn't figure out. If you, if you have a, something that you're having a hard time with, don't necessarily give up on it. It may not be your A game right away, but don't just be like, that's junk, I don't use that, right? Like, keep it, gather it. Someday you, you'll, you'll find that, whatever that little catalyst is, or that codex or whatever, that make it all work.